Welcome back, everyone, to the complete pine leaf. Last time we listened to Kandite as he told us what happened at the Stone of Erech. Now let's see what he wants to do after that. The men of the mountains sought to escape their curse, but to no avail. Yes, they sought to escape their curse, fleeing back to their mountain homes. But no word of man relates what became of them in the years since. It is said a shadow lies now on Erech, where they broke their oath, and none now take the dim holt road that ran through their gates and into their mountain home. The Rohirrim named that peak Dwimmerberg, the haunted mountain, and the passages beneath are known as the paths of the dead. None will take that road, but Elrond bid his sons remember it, and that leads me to worry. I know it lies heavily upon Halbred's mind, and yet Nar knows something of it as well. Have we been watched without our knowledge? But how can that be? No idea. We must not tarry over long, but I am worried about Nona. Yes, these worries endanger our haste. We must not tarry over long. But I would not forget the pains of these we have encountered along the way. The Ukluth girl who helped us as we came to Lanuch, this Nona. She lost her brother Wadu, ambushed by a hostile Dunlinian clan, and she must be feeling the grief most keenly. Please, go to her in the northeast corner of Lanuch, and lend her whatever comfort she can. I do not want the great company to wear blinders like those Ebrandir <clears throat> wore on his youth, before he was befriended by Saradin. We must be aware of the hurts happening around us, and do what we can to help. All right, I suppose so. Then let's speak with Nona. Hello there, Nona. How are things going? Do not be concerned for me. I am proud of the warrior Wadu became. Yes, I was lost after the death of my brother. But that was before I learned of the glory he had attained before his death. Those who slew him were right to do so from hiding. They must have been able to sense that he had become a great warrior and would have bested them. There was a tree Wadu loved atop the rise from the ox pens west of Lanuch. I left his sword there to honor his memory. But I think he would rather I used it to attain even half the glory with which he did. Go to the tree and bring me that sword. Very well. I shall recover the sword. And hopefully it is not the sword that was broken. The sword does seem to be intact. Hopefully it hasn't rusted too much, though I'm sure she could resharpen and make it all bright again. Here's the sword. Thank you for bringing me my brother's sword. I will use it in his memory. Yes, it was a sword of Rohan True, but to my eyes it is no longer the weapon of my people's ancient enemies. It is now my brother's sword. The sword with which he slew the mightiest Gwaber anyone had ever seen. And I will use it in his memory. I have a request, Pineleaf. Go to the leader of your company, the man called Halbarad, who has spoken at length with um, Glyn Brennan, and tell him that I will go with your people when they leave Lanuch. It is my desire to avenge the death of my brother on the enemies of the Uchluth and on the wizard Saruman, and our road lies together for a little while. Your man Halbred has arrived in Lanuk, has he not? Well, let us see. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Halbred has arrived. Hello there, Halbred. I have a request from Nona. 
she would like to join us? Absolutely not. This I must refuse. Yes, Theo Clement has a request to join us? <laughs> no, this is not open for debate. She will not come with us. <sighs> but there is something urgent, Pineleaf. Radonir found something. What? What did he find? Rodonir found this letter stuck into a nearby tree with a knife. Yes, it is addressed to the rangers and, well, I have left on that crate there. Read it and tell me what you think it means. Right, and I get a second age javelin for finishing this. Ooh, ooh. That's going to be interesting when you consider that I've already, I've leveled the, my current item up to level 70. Let's see what the difference is between 60 and 70 on, well, probably not on DPS. Well, I'll have to think on that. Let's see what's on this letter first. Let's see. Ergothorn Elfrend. To the Rangers. I am a man of Gondor. A friend of the elves and all good folk. Call me Ergothorn. I see the danger growing in the east and wish to oppose it. Lou Brennan dispatched a messenger from Tur Morva in Dunlin, but the messenger was beset by foes outside of Lidogo in the Leech Bluffs and was dragged within. If he lives yet, he will have information for you. I can't reveal myself to you, but trust that I am a friend. I will contact you again when it is safe to do so. Ergothorn. Okay. Hmm. Is this Ergothorn a friend? Why will he not show his face? Yes, I do not like this pine leaf. And yet, if Ergothorn is telling the truth, we need to know. Gather allies that you can trust and go to Lide Ogo, far to the south of here, on the right side of the road through the Lich Bluffs. It may be that a messenger from the south is in trouble, and if so, we could use the information he brings. But keep your eyes open. I will not trust Ergothorn without some proof. It may be a trap. Which is why I'm sending you. Ha 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 ha, yes. Send the hobbit into the trap. Hmm, there appears to have been some sort of struggle out here. Let's see what's inside. Can the words of Ergathorn be trusted? If so, a messenger from Dunland must be somewhere in the depths of Lied Ogo, hurt and afraid. I'm not too sure I like the word light in there, but <laughs> I suppose that's just the way the word's pronounced. But yes, light Ogo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what a name! I'm just waiting for my morale bar to finish filling up. Well, I think I got enough morale for the moment, especially if I only get one of them. And I'm also just use Warren skills to get the rest of my morale up. All right, nothing like a fight where you finish with more more morale than you started with. But I'm not too sure about this foul icker that he's throwing on me. Yeah, all right, there you go. Now nice and healthy, a nice healthy Hobbit. Now if I could just do some damage on it, it'll be all fine. Well, I have inspired greatness, of course, with all that extra morale, and let's see. It'd be nice. Plus 30. Plus 35 percent incoming melee damage reduced. Oh, that's, that reduces damage done to me. And melee da Oh, 225 percent damage. Yeah, that's a nice amount. Really am feeling nice and inspired. Whee! There you go. Now let's take care of these Kurgrim. Filthy beasts. Oh, thank goodness there's not a deed for these things. 
That's the type of DJ that, all right, let's go, let's kill Kirkgrim. Uh, how long is that going to take? Forever. I just remember how long it took to do the ones in Evendim. There you go. Ah, good. Everything here all nice and settled. Then let's head in uh, deeper. Other than running into Kerrigrim all over the place. I suppose I'm going to have to kill as many of these as possible. Because they may stand... Well, I suppose trying to find our friend as quickly as possible is maybe even a better option. Make sure they're still alive. Assuming he's a friend or anything like that. Who knows what's going on? L let's see if we can... Get by him. I found remains of a luckless unfortunate. Yep. Certainly not much luck there. Hmm. Nimrafen. Dancing, dancing lights. Little things in there. Ooh. Anything up here? Nope. I guess not. Oh, maybe up this way? <laughs> nope, it's not there. And that's blocked off. Well, definitely not this way. It appears that we do have something of the Kurgrim and those dancing lights around here. We also seem to have these whites. And whites are always a little bit of. Oh, goodness gracious, there are three of them here. Ah! Good thing I... managed not to pull all three at the same time, because these things guys don't look apparently any way friendly. Not that I've known whites to be friendly in general. They seem not to like the living all that much. But we can deal with them, right? Right, of course we can. Yeah, as soon as we deal with these guys. Oh, and go. There you go. Now, well. Oh, there are actually four of them. Ha! Oh, good grief. If you're not careful, you get four at a time. Of course, there is this thing about having inspiration. Which I guess would have helped if things went a little bit on the south side. There you go. And now... Boy. Oh boy, I switched just in time. He used one of his last legs anyway. Alright, good. Then let's take care of you. And now uh, you're done. This area is clear. And ooh, there's a pouch here. I wonder if it has gold. Hmm. The cloth pouch is not as ancient as the rest of Lidogo. Someone must have brought it here, and recently, but then discarded it for some reason. When I look inside of it, the only contents are a collection of small, bird like bones free of meat. The tooth marks are visible on many of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's leave it right there. Hmm. Here's another Kurgrim. A couple of cave cl Oh, they seem to have a prisoner behind them. Hmm. I wonder if it's our friend there. Let's have a little something to eat and... Let's be ready for them. I think some fortification there would also be nice. Now, we are ready for battle! Now, of course, eating in this place is probably not the wisest thing to do. I have found the Mud Eater's Lair, the deepest chamber of Lidogo. Alright, and good to know. Now, we'll just have to deal with them. All of these items. Hey, actually, 
Yeah, all right. Good. There you go. Hello there. Who? Who are you? I need to to see the Brenin at La Nuc. I'll bring, I'll bring you there. <sighs> this great beast attacked me as I was passing the entrance to the cave, and I could not get away. Thank you for saving me. It's fortunate you are passing by and so far from habitation. I bring a message from Lou Brinin of Tor Morva in the south. He urges Glyn Brinin not to believe the lies of the wizard Saruman. The wizard has sent agents to the Brinin to try to buy his loyalty, and he is worried that other clans may have accepted these offers. The Ukluth have not done so? Oh, good fortune! You must bring me to Lanuk at once. Very well. I'll bring you there. Let's now find out what Glenn Brennan has to say about this. Hello? This news gives me hope. We have some allies still. Yes. Aniran has given me the message from the Brennan of Turmurva, and it fills me with joy. For it means that the Ukluth do not stand alone against the Wizard Saruman. We have some few allies still, and that gives me hope. And what gives me hope is they get a second age javelin out of this. My Brehur and Brehuris will decide what must be done. Yes, my Brehur and Brehuris have heard the messenger Anin's words. They will decide what must be done in this matter of Saruman. Speak with them and hear what they have to say. They will wish to know the events that led you to find the stray messenger, as well as leave nothing out. So leave nothing out, yes. They will decide, too, what course of action to recommend to your people. Once you have heard my Brehur and Behuris, bring their advice to the leader Halbarad. He and I have spoken already of this, and their council will complete the argument. Very well. Then let's speak with each one of these. Hello. This is Sioris Brihur. First, let's talk to him about the news that I just came about. I spoke against the promises of Saruman for many days. Yes, and that was the course of wisdom. How few of the clans listened to my advice. Too few. But Anirin brings us hope from Dunland. He will return to Tor Murva with word that Laruk also stands against Saruman. Let that, let that strengthen our cousin's resolve. All right. And I also took care of... As long as the sun shines, you are welcome here. I've also taken care of some half-orcs. Yes, you fought bravely on our behalf, Devoniad. I have little doubt that those raiders owe their allegiance to Isengard. But that matters little if they force us to concede to Saruman's demands. You have brought us some time and shown that the strength of the Northmen. I shall try to convince Glyn Brennan to remain neutral for as long as we can. Very well. Well, what do you say, Guladis Brehiris? Are all the Vodiads so trusting? Yes. How do you know that this man, Ergothorn, is a friend? You know nothing about him beyond what he wishes to tell you, and that is not even in person. I say he, but you know not even that. Ergothorn could be a woman, and that could be the least of her deceptions. It matters not to me that the messenger Aniran was found where Ergothorn said he would be. One truth is nothing. Well then, you do have a point with that. All right. And what about the ashes? I have not to say to you, Duvodiat. <laughs> oh, it's so weird when in the side quests they get the standard clips, the 
the standard Dunlin clips, and then of course they get their own personal ones when you go and speak with them for the epic. This is it then. Now we know for certain that Isengard has set these devils upon the force that are healed. Neither I, nor any among my fellows who dare count themselves men, shall speak in favor of this emissary of Orthanc. I do not know what the future holds for us, Devoniad. It may be that a season's time all of Inanwyth shall be burnt and barren, but at least we shall die as stalwarts and not as cowards. Right, she's very strong on that bit. And, oh, what do you have to say? The road through Dunland will not be safe for you, no matter the words of Aniri. Yes, your people, these rangers, are Devoniad, but unlike others I have seen. This man, Halbrad, reminds me of Glyn Brennan, stern, willing to listen to the advice of others, but given to decisive action when it is necessary. Know that the road to Dunland will not be safe for you. It is good that Lubrinin still stands against the wizard Saruman, but there are other clans in Dunland that do not have leaders as strong, and for them, the promises of the wizard may be hard to refuge. Tell your people to be wary in the south. Well, you do have a point there. And also, I have I'm not to say to you, <laughs> Devotion. <laughs> yeah, it is good that Halmon's home remains whole, as does Imlun. I only hope Imlun escaped the wrath of the half orcs. Alas for Rurith, Matho, and their families. I thank you for your assistance, Devoniad. And then finally, Pinhoon Brehur. If two or more of us still stands against the wizard, we must remain strong as well. I am pleased that at Nira's message from the Brennan, if two or more of us still stands against the wizard, we must also be strong. It is good to know that some of our brothers in Dunlin have not believed the promises of Saruman. We are not without friends, as was my worry. Hmm, all right. And also, I brought back the weapon. I have not to say to you, <laughs> Devoniad. <laughs> All right, well, just take the axe then. Ah, my father's axe. It is nearly as sound as the day is brought from the dwarves. You have my thanks, Devoniad. I shall do what I can to dissuade Grin Brennan from aiding with Isengard. We of the Oklut should be our own people, not service to some power-hungry wizard. Hmm. And now... What else do we have to do? Ah! We are left then with the Seneschal. What will the Seneschal do? And what will the Brennan decide? We have to find that out in the next episode of the Complete Pine Leaf.